Hey there, Islanders, and welcome to the first episode of our editor tutorial. We'll look into some basics, but not complete basics, because you can try out building itself in sandbox and exploration, and a lot of information you can gain from our handy sidebar. For instance, how to rotate the camera and items you're placing, and there's also quite a lot of information in the codex and also in our wiki. So the first thing we'll look at is how to generate a world to build in. When you open up a new editor map, you'll get this beautiful flat base from which you can create. But there are more options. Here top left in the editor tab, you can press on new and pick from four different variants. Uh, the flat map is the one we have now. Uh, but if you'd like a complete empty slate with no flat terrain, you can choose the empty map. Now, if you're interested in making Waterworld or another aqua-based map, you can choose a purely water map. And then finally, if you'd like to create your own island, uh, then similarly to how you create an island in Sandbox, you can create it here too, uh, choosing your preferred biome, island size, and so on. So, another tab you want to check at the beginning of making a new creation in Editor are Game Settings. Again, head to the editor, press game settings, and then the common settings. That'll expand this handy window. So here you can, of course, add the name of the game you're making, a short description, and set a screenshot to represent it, uh, which we'll look at later on, and a lot of other stuff. We'll just look at some of the other ones we'll be using, but if you want to find out more about other ones, you can hover with your mouse over them, and you'll get a basic description of the settings function. In our case, we want to make sure items we put into our game are pickable, which they are, uh, that all entities will be interactable, and that placed entities will be indestructible too, which we'll check now. Now, if you'd like certain items to have this different, you can then change that in specific object properties, which we'll look at in another episode. Another important aspect we'll look at now is compatibility. Here we can check that our game will be only for PC, in which case it won't be playable on mobile, but there won't be any size limitations. But in our case we want our game to be universal, so we'll leave it as it is and thus we'll be able to play the game on our mobile too. After we finish making it of course. Now of course, so you don't lose your creation process and your settings, you'll have to save the game. But before that, we'll look at the screenshot making, which will serve as the picture showing when picking what game to play. So, you press Shift and F12, and that'll capture a screenshot, and after you do that, you can save the game either by pressing the Quick Save button here, or Save As in the Editor tab. Here you can name it, and uh, you're done. And that's it for now, uh, and I'll see you in the next episode, uh, where we'll look at some building. So till then, stay classy, Islanders.